my guys it is a razzle dazzle over the top beautiful day here in the end times uh and uh i need to uh get over there and do my uh on that other channel and talk about my invitation to join the world economic forums uh what's it called sustainable development impact virtual meeting so you can hear all about that over on that other channel but i just had to just do a very brief little uh comedy relief comedy relief though uh, we need some comedy relief here on this uh, razzle dazzle spectacular it is a monday morning september 16th 2024 and i just want to uh share two stories from the mainstream media if you think you've heard this story before it's because you have and if you think you're going to hear this story again, you're goddamn straight. You're going to hear this story again. But we're going to go down to the collapsing shithole country of Haiti. Of Haiti. One of the... If I had to pick the two poster children of the collapse of everything, uh, would be Haiti in Nigeria. So we're going to go down to Haiti today. At least 24 dead following fuel tanker explosion in Haiti. So uh, how many of you out there without reading this story know why the vast majority of these people who died and the died and got these horrendous burn injuries. Why it happened? All right. I guess that yeah, this was yesterday. The death toll has risen to at least 24 clueless fucking morons after a fuel tanker explosion in Haiti. Local authorities reported Sunday dozens more clueless fucking morons were injured. Officials said many of the injured morons suffered burns over at least 80% of their bodies. The accident occurred, well, the, the accident had very little to do with the burns or the dead people. The accident that, you know, resulted in the death and injury of these clueless morons occurred Saturday uh, about 60 miles west of the capital, Port au Prince. Okay. The tanker, the fuel tanker, collided with another vehicle and it initially it did not explode. So they, the, the, when the wreck happened, the explosion did not happen as a direct consequence of the collision. So people had plenty of time to get the hell out of Dodge when they saw gasoline pouring out of the, uh, of the side of, a, uh, of an overturned fuel tanker. So why did all the people die? This is a real, uh, a real brain teaser for anyone uh, knowing exactly what collapse looks like. God damn it! And now this, uh, th th this goddamn computer just did it again. Unfucking believable. Uh, that this that this new computer just did it uh, again and erased uh, 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 erased uh, I, I don't know what I'm hitting uh, on this goddamn new computer. 
uh, I I anyway, talk about a sensitive son of a bitch. Anyway, as they say, I am a master of the control H button since getting this computer. All right. Hands off. The tanker collided with another vehicle and the explosion happened as people were scrambling toward the wreck. As people were scrambling toward the wreck, which at that point was not on fire, to try to collect the spilled fuel. We have heard this over and over again. Uh, the driver warned people nearby not to get close to the tanker before the explosion. Yes, as many as 20 cars and motorcycles were burned by the explosion's ensuing fire. Uh, this is not the first such multi-fatality fuel tanker accident and explosion in Haiti. More than 60 people died following a similar incident in 2021, which I remember uh, reporting on. I remember that big one in Pakistan a couple of years ago. So I am, you, you can be pretty damn sure that every one of those clueless fucking morons who died or were burnt to crispy critters trying to collect that fuel were completely aware of what happened in 2021. Uh, the, the identical thing happening. That it is more important for someone to get their hands on fossil fuels uh, it, it, it's worth risking your clueless fucking moron life for a free gallon of gas or whatever they were, were carrying. Uh, probably a 44 ounce big gulp. Uh, said Haitian Prime Minister Gary Coville, It's a horrible scene we have just witnessed. Do you think so? Haiti has been facing political unrest and violence for several years. Uh, the new prime minister has reportedly, reportedly been trying to restore order since the new government was formed three months ago. Nearly 580,000 people have been displaced by the conflict and close to 5 million people in Haiti are facing severe hunger, the United Nations has said. Okay, so I get to go to my two poster children of the uh, collapse, and we have a literal collapse uh, of civilization in my second uh, shithole country poster child of collapse, Nigeria. What is going on in Nigeria today? 281 inmates escape after floods brought down prison's walls in Nigeria. This was in Abuja, Nigeria. Nigerian Authority said 281 inmates escaped after devastating floods brought down a prison's walls in the country's northeast. A major dam collapsed on September 10th and unleashing severe flooding that left over 30 people dead and over 1 million people who never should have been born displaced and prompted evacuations across the state of Borno. Uh, it looks like they uh, have caught seven 
of the inmates, seven of the inmates, the collapse of the dam caused some of the state's worst flooding since the very same dam collapsed 30 years ago. West Africa has experienced some of the heaviest flooding in decades this year, affecting over 2.3 million people, a threefold increase from 2023, according to our friends at the United Nations. But speaking of the United Nations, uh, I need to wrap this up because I want to get over there to that other channel and uh, talk about the World Economic Forum. And if anybody does not think there's connections between the World Economic Forum and both of those stories I just read, obviously you have not been paying attention. Maybe you can learn something from that little eco-pussy at that other channel about who the fuck is the World Economic Forum. My guys. Man, I can just, I'll just stay.